Cowards. We want to thank you so much for making Cowards the number one book in America. We want to tell you that we beat the number two book by 65%. And yet, the New York Times declared yesterday that the number two book, which we sold 65% more, is number one. And we're number two. <laughs> Shocking. I mean, I just, I this is the third time, is it not? I think it is the third, the third time. time. One time they corrected it because we, we looked at the numbers and we were like, okay. Right? Didn't they correct it? it sounds right. Yeah. Right. I think and then right. a, a second time, well, I don't remember which book it was. Another one, we were, we were number one, but it was close. It was like within 5,000 books. This is not even in the 65% more copies of my book sold than number two. And the New York Times, well, no. Mm-mm. Yeah. Not number, they got to correct number this too. They, they won't. Uh, they won't. Got to. They won't. Yeah, the New York they Times. Won't. If you don't, you know, stupid inside book stuff. But they have their own secret formula. It's like the special sauce formula. Yeah, twenty three herbs and spices that they put into this, and the twenty two of the twenty three herbs and spices aren't book sales. Apparently. No, so look, I know. I I'm not. Well, I'm, I don't think that this is necessarily because the the uh, the book that they made number one is an anti Obama book. So I, I'm not saying that they did this because you know. Look, they just hate anybody who they wanted to make this other book number one. No, they just hate you. <laughs> yeah, it, no, I think that you know that's what, whatever what it, is. it is. I don't care. <laughs> I just want it when you have a system. When it was in a th- you know within a thousand or two thousand books. Okay, your secret formula, whatever. They weight these independent snotty bookstores more than Barnes and Noble. Whatever a book apparently is not a book. Let's judge it by the cover and where it's been sold. Um, but that's the New York Times. That's their little weighting system. Whatever. But when you have something that sold 65% more than number two, there's no formula that makes that accurate. Yeah. There's no formula that makes that accurate. The New York Times, again, is just a pile of crap. <laughs> and again, that's not the first time you said that, which is also probably not the first why. I, I want not the number first one. To, I want, I'm never publishing any of our books or republishing any of them with number one New York Times bestseller on them. We have seven number one New York Times bestsellers. Why are we giving them this crap? Because we actually have nine number one New York Times bestsellers. Well, it's funny. We were- Why are we saying that? It's number one na- number one national bestseller. That's what it is. Very funny. We were we were talking about this yesterday, and maybe we just need to come up with like the Blaze to just do their own list that actually comes that it's accurate. And we remember, it. BookScan already does that. Yeah, they just mm-hmm. look at the amount of books sold. They don't have any secret formula. They tell you the exact numbers. And well, but that's what we mean when I said I said the Blaze has to do this. Blaze has to do this. We have our own. We have our own. Um, we have to replace the New York Times, and they have their own secret formula. And we'll just be real straight up. Here's our secret formula. Book scan. When you go boop, it counts it. Boop, it counts it. When you go on and you hit the keys and you're like, buy it, click here. Click, it counts it. And that's how we decide what's number one. It's no secret formula. We're reporting the facts. If the New York Times can be so skewed where they can get something 65% wrong... When the facts are numbered, this is math. This is math. Especially for book sales. It's not like, remember when we were in uh, music radio and Billboard used to do their t- their Hot 100 based on uh, sales and airplay. radio station airplay. Well, what's the formula here? You got sales and what? That's it. You got no, the, sales. The, their deal is, is they, they count, like, for instance... If a book, and this is how you keep really snotty liberal, and this isn't the case this time, but this is how you keep the really snotty liberal th- books alive, they count, I, I don't remember what it is, because you don't know the, the formula, but what people suspect is that they count the independent bookstores, their sales, like two to one. Why? I, I have no idea. So when you go into a snot, if you're buying it at, Wa- if you're buying it at Walmart, you don't count as much. You don't count as much as if you go to one of these high-end, snotty, you know, shop around the corner kind of bookstores. <laughs> nice, well, you've got mail reference there. Yeah, I mean, you go, <laughs> you go to one of those, and it's the Jimmy Stewart one, not the Tom Hanks. But you go, you you go into one of those, you count for more. You go into Walmart, you go into Target, you go into anybody, you go to Barnes and Noble, wherever people actually buy books. You have to buy two to count as 
as the one. It's crazy. Yeah, but what it's a great, crazy. great analogy it is for their news coverage. Like, you have a set of facts that go right. into their system, and something completely opposite comes out. And that's exactly right. what happened here. And it's so exactly what happens with their health care coverage, and it's exactly what happens with their war coverage yeah. and everything else. You're like, wait a minute. I saw that same speech. What facts did you use to process that mm-hmm. when they are when they are on mathematics 65% wrong? When you get down to stories, how can you possibly trust a thing they say? This is math. These are numbers. Period. Not opinion. So, uh, I just find it a I find it an amazing story. And the the blaze has to have their, you know, we have to find out. I'm sure there's rights to book scan and everything else that we can't. You just, you know, doesn't USA Today do this? They have another list, yeah. Yeah, it's the USA Today list. Mm -hmm. Um, And that's the number one. And that one, the problem with that one is they don't categorize, right? Yeah, you can still look at it, obviously. But, yeah, they'll put, uh, you know, cookbooks and fiction books and and nonfiction books all together. But but still, it's, as far as I know, a pretty valid list. Oh, no, it is. I think that's, I think that's almost like book scan. Yeah, I mean, and we keep talking about the Blaze doing it, but the books, book scan's already doing it. I mean, they're counting the amount sold and ranking them. I'm saying that. that the Blaze should report on that. Yeah. And that should just be a weekly report of what it is according to BookScan. Period. Yeah, it's, it's that's just the a, way it should be. It's a proprietary number, so like that's why we're we have to be vague with what we're talking about here because you know you're not you, obviously you don't you know, it's their it's their information they right. own it and you have to subscribe to it so we can't talk about it exactly. Uh, but the point here is though it's like you know you have uh, something pretty specific. I mean it's it's exactly right. It's like there's no there's no boop. That's you know, it. Yeah, scanned and you sell you sold it and it's over. That's all you need. But whatever. I mean, this is what the New York Times does with everything. And remember that next time you read one of their stories. This I do not do. want, from here on out, uh, the, uh, any reprints, anything. I want New York Times off the cover. <laughs> I want New York Times <laughs> off the cover. We have nine number one New York Times. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, I I, I don't really. We stop. <laughs> honestly, after about five, we stop counting. And I never believe that, but I we do. And it's like it, we are so blessed, and we are we are. Um, uh, so grateful for you, but New York Times, and when they come in, and it were, and you see the book scan numbers, and then you see what they what the New York Times does, we've been ripped off by them, I think, twice, and we're like, come on, that's ridiculous. It doesn't matter anymore, but it does. When it's close, it's one thing, you know. It, this is not close. No. This is not even close. Okay.